What up, though? You are now watching, listening, Dead End Sports 365, where sports opinions collide. I'm your boy, BZ430, back again with another quick video. Uh, this one I'm going to talk about Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic. I think I'm saying that I'm fucking his last name up. How the hell I'm messing that up? But um, yeah, man. You know, you know. Of course, I haven't been live on you know the Dead in Sports live podcast episodes. That's on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 9:30 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Um, no show tonight though. No show tonight. No show. No live show tonight. Um, if you guys don't know already. But so they'll be back live Tuesday, 9:30 p.m. But like I said, normally I don't be on there, but the fellas know. Ken in particular knows that I've always been, I'm, I, I, I fucked with Luca. I love Luca. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not as critical of him like Ken is. Ken is super, super duper critical of Luca. I fucks with Luca. Luca plays the game like it's easy, like it's nothing. Like it just comes easy for him, right? But I want to talk about playoff Luca. I want to talk about playoff Luca real quick. You know, congratulations. He won his first um, playoff series, beating the Utah Jazz. You know what I'm saying? And, only play half the series, you know what I'm saying? And it kind of got me questioning how well the ball has been moving without Luca playing, you know, in the first couple of games because uh, Brunson was having a really great series. Um, so going into this series, yes, they're playing the Superior Suns. I get it. A really good defensive, you know, good a good defensive team and team that can get buckets in the Phoenix Sun. They're number one seed for a reason. Got the best record in the, in the, in the league for a reason. But Luca, man, and I've told, I've been telling them this. I love Luca. Uh, he's always been questionable to me on defense, on the defensive side of the ball. And I feel like in this series, particularly last night, he got exposed defensively. Like he really got exposed defensively against the Suns, man. Chris Paul was cooking them. Of course, it's Chris Paul, but we're talking about 37 year old Chris Paul. We ain't talking about prime 26, 27 year old Chris Paul. We're talking about Chris Paul, Devin Booker. Of course, Devin Booker is one of the, you know, one of the, elite scores in this game today you know what i'm saying but i feel like it was times it was possessions and i wish i can pinpoint like the time frame i should have before i record this i wish i can pinpoint the time frame in the third and fourth quarter when luca's defense was looking very very suspect and lazy i don't know if the man was fatigued or not but he was looking very very lazy and you know shout out to phoenix for making a good job defensively for making adjustments to get in Luca off his game because Luca was just toying with them boys in the first half. So shout out to Monty Williams and that coaching staff for making adjustments in the second half to slow Luca down. This is why playoff basketball is coming to matchups and coaching. If you've been watching basketball like myself for a long time, playoffs come to matchups and coaching. You have to make adjustments when you're playing the same team possibly seven times. The same is different than regular season when you see them once or twice a year. Or whatever, but yeah, I, I think Luca, he's really getting exposed in this in this second round. And like I said, I think that comes down to coaching, um, of course. And I think they just really relying on Luca to just do everything and just kind of keeping the, the role players at bay. Um, I see they're trying to spin this narrative of like Luca now is like the Michael Jordan and he's looking for his Pippen. He need his 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 right hand person. You know, you can make that argument. You know what I'm saying? It's just funny how he needs that, but. You know, other players is always like, oh, they, they can just do it all themselves. Another thing, too, and I and I saw this stat, it was really interesting. In the 18 games that Luca has been playing in the playoffs, he's he's averaged like six points a game, like maybe less than that in the fourth quarter of playoff games. And we all know if you want to be that superstar, that that superstar status player, you make your bread and butter in the playoffs. And fourth quarter, Luca. I don't know if he's being, like I mentioned before, I don't know if he's been getting gassed out because he's playing all these minutes and the team is looking for him to do everything because he's like the only guy right now. Um, uh, you know, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm trying to give him some leeway, but we got to talk about this. We got to talk about this. And this is someone who fucks with Luca. I, I like Luca Dodgers, man. I, I really like him as a player. He's one of the future NBA stars in this league. I, I like him. Um, I fucks with him. But yes, he's definitely getting exposed in this particular series. And he needs to step up, I feel like, in the fourth quarter more in the playoffs. We've seen Luca do a lot of stuff, you know, during regular season. I, I, my only gripe with him right now is playoffs. I want to see how far he can take these teams. I want to see how far he can he can elevate his game in the playoffs because he's been balling. But, 
you're coming up short in the fourth quarter. That's not good if you want to be labeled, you know, the top notch. And, you know, other superstars have had bad fourth quarters before, too. I'm not just only saying Luca's the only one. We have plenty of superstars. I can go down a long name, long list of, of legends and, and, and guys. Iverson had bad fourth quarters in the playoff. He had a B at a bad, but, I mean, he also had some fourth quarters when you know Iverson was going to take over. So I want to start seeing Luca, you know, at least if they would have lost, I wanted to see more out of Luca, and I think that's just really great defense adjustments by the Suns. So I don't want to give, I don't want to discredit the Suns for making excellent adjustments like a, a proper coaching staff should do in the playoffs. So, yeah, that's all I just want to talk about. I just want to see Luca. Once you step up, now this this series heads to Dallas. The series heads to Dallas, and I want to see what you're going to do. I want to see if you can kind of lift this team to try to get two wins at home, you know, and try to even this thing back up make this series interesting let's see um but yeah that's all i wanted to say for today y'all um as always thank you guys for watching make sure you like subscribe comment whatever you know if you think my thoughts are some bs tell me if you disagree cool if you agree with me that's cool too you know what i'm saying i just want to get you know this this is the point of these uh dead in sports 365 videos you know i just want to get a quick thoughts out and just talk about some stuff so um yeah as always man we'll see you guys when I see you, you know, I'm always going to pop up with a dead end 365 video. But like I said, no video tonight, of course, as you can see. Um, They'll be back Tuesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or maybe 9 o'clock Eastern. They've been kind of going a little bit earlier than 9.30. So make sure you check the check out the rest of the crew. Sheldon, Nikki Ducey, FIFO, and Kenneth B. Inge, and your boy BZ. I am out, and I will see y'all later. Peace.